Hi Betsy, I'm Tim Ferris, and today what I want to achieve is to have a successful completion to my third speech, as we say, on the book with Toastmasters. I'm a member of the Midday Toastmasters Club in the city of Cleveland. We normally meet in the 1100 Superior Building. We have another engagement in the conference room today, so we're in the park. This is Perk Park that's recently been redone. And I hope to be able to overcome the sound of the traffic and to project without hollering too much. I hope to use some of the air I have in my diaphragm to get it out to the crowd. I'm going to tell them about revisiting a book I read in 2004 called The Four Agreements. The Four Agreements is a book by Don Miguel Ruiz, which has served as a life-changing, uh, self-improvement type book for many, many people, and it was used as part of a coaching course I went through in 2004. But I hope to have a successful speech, I hope to have fun, I hope to be informative, and I hope to get some other people uh, to read the book and perhaps benefit from the book as much as I have. And I also hope to work this out on video and to get this uh, posted to the internet and just see how it works. I think this is a, a good way to have multiple media at work. Thank you, Betsy, for all your help. Past Saturday, I came upon this little phrase that just kind of lit me up. It says, you see the world with different eyes, with your eyes. You create an entire picture or movie in your mind. And in that picture, you are the director. You are the producer. You are the main actor or actress. Everyone else is a secondary actor or actress. It is your movie. The way you see that movie is according to the agreements you've made with life. Your point of view is something personal to you. It is no one's truth but yours. Folks, I couldn't wait for Monday. My movie. But as I mentioned, I digress here. Imagine I'm digressing and I haven't even started my speech yet, but I can do that because it's my own movie. And I, you see the director's chair over there, don't you? I'm also the director, I'm the producer. I'm everything but the videographer. Later, if you're lucky, you'll find out what kind of a choreographer I am too. Choreographer, that's a dance number. But anyway, on to the speech that I'm supposed to give. In 2004, I took a coaching course that changed my life. And one of the first books I had to read as a result of this course was The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. He's a medical doctor. And after significant problems in his own life, he took up his family's, his culture's Toltec philosophies. And out came this book a few years later. It's a 1997 book, was on the bestsellers list for many, many years. And it is, in fact, a life changer. And so I went ahead and for the course, I read the four agreements. And after I found out what the four agreements were, I learned how to implement the four agreements. And after I implemented the four agreements, I learned all the little prayers they say on the back end, how to keep on track. And then I closed the book and I forgot the four agreements. But one nice thing about this book is on the book jacket, on the inner flyleaf, they have the four agreements. So without much effort, without even going into the book to see what you've highlighted, you can go ahead and read the four agreements. The purpose of speech number three is to go ahead and to have a purpose and to inform you of the purpose. And I'm going to be very heavy handed about it. My purpose in this speech is to facilitate each of you becoming his or her producer, director, and star in your own movie using the four agreements. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. To be impeccable means to be without sin, without fault. That is, speak the truth. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. You're all here because you understand the power of the word. And you want to learn to use the power of the word better, more professionally. Whatever your goals are, you're here because of words. You're here because of the spoken word. This is the book for Toastmasters, folks. Don't t The second agreement, don't take anything personally. It's not about you. 
That was the, the second thing I mentioned to Jeff. It's not about you. You have to understand that. When somebody says something unkind, you take it to heart, it's probably about them. It's about their interferes, about the way they the way they view the world, the way they feel about themselves. It says what others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you're immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. You won't beat yourself up after a bad evaluation or a bad speech. You put on your big boy or big girl panties and move on. That's it. The third agreement, don't make assumptions. This was the deal maker for me. It, part of don't making assumptions is not being judgmental in the first place. When I entered the course, I had to make a pact not to exercise judgment, not to be, no, well, not judgment, not to be judgmental for 90 days, to suspend making judgments for 90 days or more. Things are what they are. I hate to give traction to Frank Jackson, but it is what it is. It's not a bad idea, a way to approach life. In not making assumptions, you find the courage to ask the questions and to express what you really want. You communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. Suspend being judgmental. You won't believe what it will do. The fourth agreement, always do your best. Back in the early part of the 1900s, there was a fellow out there called Emil Kuwe. Have you ever heard about Emil? Okay, well, he had a little saying that was, every day in every way, I keep on getting better and better. And you would do that repetitively, and then that would work well for you. What, what's my other one, Gloria? Oh, but there's a catchier way to do it. There's a way catchier way to do it. And I want you all to repeat it after me, after I say it a few times. This, this can all, you can even dance to it, it's really great. But it, it goes, okay, well, well, bear with me, we'll dance together. Good, better, best, never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. Mickey, let's go. Good, better, best, never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. All right. You wanna do it one more time? Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. Okay. We remember it's your own movie. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's all I can tell you right now about the book. It's really a good book. It's a new age type of thing. Some people say, don't discount it by calling it new age. It integrates well with every religion, every philosophy that we have in Western and Eastern culture. Everybody can benefit by it. I'm going to leave it and its successor, the, f the Fifth Agreement, and a press kit on the, uh, the table to the rear. As you can see the table, it's a low table today. And if you'd like to go ahead and have the electronic press kit, go ahead and give me a business card, put a note in there and I'll email you the press kit. This it's a good book, a very good book. Now, as I said, the purpose, my purpose, is to facilitate your becoming the star of your own movie. And when you get up every morning, I want you to remember the immortal words of Michael Keaton in Beetlejuice. It's showtime! <laughs>